Hi everyone, thanks for joining and welcome back to Wall Street Silver. Joining us today is the man himself, the legend, the Robin Hood of Wall Street, Greg Manorino. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure having you on. It's actually a huge, huge pleasure having you back. Uh, and it's such a critical time, Greg. The huge debate lately is, can the Fed keep raising rates with all the debt that's mounted uh, and piled up into the system? How can Jerome Powell continue to even raise rates without breaking something? And, and how will that affect uh, silver and gold? Well, he's trying to break something. I mean, that's what this is all about, in my opinion. Uh, it's it's already broken. The system is 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 garbage. Uh, it's being systematically taken down piece by piece here, so they can you know issue in their new system. I mean, that's really where we're at. Uh, they've been raising rates for months and months, telling us inflation is going to get better. It hasn't gotten better at all. <laughs> uh, it continues to get worse here. You know, what a fable they sold to people from day one, right. telling everyone, oh, this is what we're going to do. And it's going to, you know, a miracle is going to happen and inflation is going to start to come down and life is going to be great and fantastic. But all <laughs> inflation has done is, is gone higher. And, and it's going to go a lot higher as well. And then we're going to get, you know, the mainstream propaganda that things are getting better. Oh, forget about what you're seeing. Forget about what, what <laughs> your pocketbook is telling you. No, that doesn't matter. We're telling you that inflation is getting better. You can't make it up, but this is what they're doing here. Um, look, eventually this whole thing is, is going to just completely melt down by design. Nothing is by accident here. Um, with regard to gold and silver, I, I think it's the, the world's greatest hedge against the uh, hyper debt bubble and you know mm -hmm. the reason why I, I i i hold this stuff and have been holding this is i eventually i know eventually this thing is going to get real we're going to get an implosion in that debt market it's going to implode which is going to wipe out global stock markets cash is just going to move it's going to move into commodities in a very very big way here um my target on 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 gold is is pretty straightforward. I believe we are going to get on par with the Dow. Mm -hmm. Where's the bottom of the Dow? Nobody knows where the bottom of the Dow is. We do know that during the meltdown, the last financial meltdown here, what did the Fed do? At Dow six thousand, they jumped in with quantitative easing. One, the bottom was probably lower, but that's right. when they got in here and started pumping, you know, uh, all the cash into the system here. But I mean. I, I'm not smart enough to tell anybody where the bottom of the Dow is. I just know it's right now we're in a lot, a lot of land. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously substantially lower. So I believe we're going to get a one-to-one, one-to-one with gold, gold Dow, let's say Dow 6,000. So that means silver 6,000 or Dow 8,000, you know, silver, I'm sorry, that will be gold, you know, 8,000 and right. the silver to gold ratio is going to get to like at least 15 to one, maybe 10 to one in an extreme. Because uh, things in, in in a situation like this, if in fact, and I, I would have to say this is chiseled in stone, we're going to get an implosion in that debt market. And that's going to greatly affect a world equity markets, which are going to sell right. off very, very rapidly. What do people do in that kind of a situation? They all run to the door at the same time. Uh, and people start marking down what they want to get rid of the bill. And at one point, they're willing to take anything. So uh, this starts a cascade of events where the, the equities will just fall um, beyond where they actually normally would. Yeah. So they always go beyond. They overcorrect. Let's put it that way. Uh, and and so th this is how it's going to play out. I can't imagine another way it's going to do it. Uh, cash is just going to move from what, like it always does. From one set of assets into another asset, it doesn't fly away and go to money heaven. It just moves. It just exactly. moves through the markets. It's all it does. Absolutely. I read it. I actually read an article a few days ago as central banks are now loading up on gold in, uh, in response to rising geopolitical tensions. And they've been buying more gold now, central banks, in the past, uh, since the past 55 years. Are, in your opinion, are they preparing for something big, possibly full on uh, de dollarization? I think, of course, they prepare. They, they look. We we were told by Ben Bernanke that gold is not real money, and they hold central banks hold gold yeah. for tradition. I mean, really, honestly, <laughs> is that what he wants us to believe? This thing, uh, yeah, no, of course they are. Look, the wealthiest people are hoarding gold and silver. Uh, all my friends who have a few dollars are trying to get away from the dollar. And like, like, look, I don't have many dollars. Most of my assets are in things, in right. real 
things. Uh, I don't want to have too many dollars laying around. Anyone, No one should have too many dollars laying around here. What do we know is going on? What has central banks been doing for forever? They've been devaluing their currency, sucking the purchasing power out of it. Uh, and this mechanism is not going to stop. It's going to accelerate. And with regard to dollar uh, world dollar, you know, people getting away from the dollar. Yeah, it's happening. Uh, I think for for it to play out as many people hope it's going to, and people mm. better be very careful what they wish for here. Um, you know, most trade. Let, let's just let's just establish a fact here. People are going to say, "Oh, the petrodollar is dead. The dollar is dead." Most transactions, by far, are still done in dollars. Right. And obviously, there is a move away from that. That's fact. That's fact. Um, but it, 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 it's I don't think the world is going to fully de-dollarize for, for a while. And I think it would take a major event here. And, and they're ready for it anyway. Look, they know what's going to happen before it yeah. does. These central banks, they sit back, they coordinate. They know what's happening here. Uh, they, they, they have the world by the throat and they're going to take the system down here uh, as they're doing systematically. Like we started this thing off piece by piece, brick by brick. Ha, interesting. And uh, <laughs> until. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and, and until they, they're ready to institute their new system, their new digital currency, uh, which I think there's no way out of it. It's something they've wanted for a very, very long time. It's all about control. Right. The entire system is about control. Um, and with regard to are they preparing for, for something? Why is it right now that we're seeing corporations layoffs, 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 thousands, tens of thousands of people? Because they know what the people don't know, that we are going into a, a severe severe recession, depression, right. um, and and so they're getting ready for it. Out of the other side of their mouth, we got the mainstream media telling us everything is fine, and we got G Jamie Dimon telling people, oh, you need to go out and borrow. You know, of course, <laughs> it's, it's crazy, but that's what they do. So, you you know, people need to pay attention to the actions that are going on, not what's mm -hmm. coming out of these freaks' mouth, because mm -hmm. they're never going to tell you the truth. And I, I, I think people are getting it, at least I hope so. Well, there's uh, there's a program that's coming out of the Federal Reserve this July. It's called Fed Now, yep. uh, and they aren't promoting it as a, as a central backed digital currency, but it sure seems to be one. Why are so many countries and institutions introducing the language now? Like I know you just mentioned, it's it's not going to be right away or overnight. But why are like you see all these countries introducing the language for a CBDC to be rolled out? Why is that? That you're just pre preparing for the inevitable. Well, of course. I mean, this is this is something they've been gearing up towards for a very, very long time. Years, years and years and years, decades, maybe. Um, you know, and, and now you know, they're trying to prepare the groundwork. They're setting it all up right now. They're consolidating the banking system. Central banks are getting more interconnected with each other as well. They fully coordinate, although initially, what were we told? We were initially told by Fed Chair Powell that they don't coordinate. Then he slipped during a meeting and said, oh, yes, they do coordinate. Of course yeah. they coordinate. These central banks are doing the same things at the same time. They're working towards this, the same goal to be the lenders and buyers of last resort to own it all. It sounds like science fiction, but that's the truth here. Mm -hmm. Central banks want to run the world. They already run the entire global economy. They run the entire financial system. They run the markets. They run it all. The rest of it is just a sideshow. It's a freak show. Do you think they'll take uh, deposits from the commercial banking system and move them uh, to the Fed balance sheet? Like, let's say we continue to have problems in the banking system. Like, what do we watch for? Should we watch for that or no, they wouldn't do I, that? I think what they're doing right now, this whole thing with the regional banks and the smaller banks here, it's, it, you know, look, from at least eight months ago, and I want, I urge people to check my channel on this here. Yeah, I started warning people that the banking system was in trouble. No deposits, no loans, no deals. Wow. So who would be the first... The first foot to drop would be, of course, the smaller institutions here. Now, the bigger institutions are in the same boat, except they have a lot more cash laying around, although they have zero reserves, as we all know here. The Federal Reserve doesn't even require these big institutions to hold any reserve because they have a direct line to the Federal Reserve. OK, so now we have these smaller institutions here. People really, there were runs going on on these institutions. It wasn't getting televised, but this is what was going on. People pulling their deposits out, throwing them into the larger institutions. So the larger institutions are, are seeing a lot of inflow with regard to deposits, but they still have the other problem here. No no deals, no loans. Um, you know, and, and then the other thing they have that these that not being spoken about, I don't think too much here, maybe a little bit, is uh, loan defaults. Loan defaults right. are skyrocketing. 
Um, and then these these the, the investment banks they 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 they've exposed way in my view overexposed themselves to the uh, debt market here and with the Fed raising rates now they're holding assets that are worth less they're losing they're losing all kinds of money Deutsche Bank mm-hmm. what is that four hundred billion a huge amount <laughs> yeah uh, crazy but amount. you know look this so there's a lot going on so what I think is how ha- what's what's occurring here is a consolidation of the system they're going to consolidate the banking system now what they're going to end up doing with people's deposits, I, I, I'm not really sure. They're going to just convert it. They're just going to say, okay, guess right. what? You know, your dollars now are, are, are your, your paper, you know, throw it away because they ain't, oh, put, put it on your wall. Uh, now we're going <laughs> to this digital system here and uh, you can show your grandchildren what you used to use to, you know, get yourself a <laughs> cup of coffee at one point, although it's way more than a dollar these days, right? Yeah. What does a Starbucks cost these days? Oh, I have like no three, idea. Three, four bucks. It's crazy. Drink overpriced coffee. There you go. That's $37. Awesome. It's crazy. You know, people are people. This is the situation that people put themselves in. What do we have today? Credit card debt, household debt, personal debt, consumer debt, record high, record high, record high, record high, record high. Keeps going up. They don't don't know how to stop doing it. It's almost like it's a disease, like gambling or something. They should keep borrowing. I have personal friends of mine who really don't have two nickels to rub together. But all they're doing is borrowing and borrowing. Oh, don't worry. I'll just pay it off. I'm just going to pay it off. I'm just going to pay it off. Yeah. Um, People fall into that trap. They can't get out. And, yeah. and this is what people like any of the Wall Street Superbank CEOs they want. They want those kind of people doing that here. Um, yeah. And they're creating dependency on the system. It's just, There's so many facets to this. It's, it's just crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. And I have to ask, uh, Greg, with all the chaos in the market, where are you putting your money right now? Gold, silver, where exactly are you putting your money for safety? My favorite asset of all time is silver, man. I, I nice. Oh, you got silver. Day. What kind of bar is that? I this this one here. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's awesome. That, yeah. that... I mean, then I got you know all this generic stuff all over the place, and I got these lovely things here. You know, oh, I got it, I got it all over. I look I look at it. I play with it. You know, <laughs> I, you know, you know, I put uh, it in my eyeball socket. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love this stuff. I really uh, so you know. Look, I've been telling people literally for an entire decade to bet against the debt, become your own central bank. Um, and that means holding hard assets. I believe silver is the most undivided asset on the planet. Why? Well, I don't just make this stuff up out of thin air. I, we already discussed what I, where I believe the Dow and gold are going to go. Okay. Right. Um, so just just do a little math here. If we're if we have Dow six thousand, gold six thousand, and we get a ten to one silver, we're talking about six hundred bucks. Wow. So you know these things are all within the realm of of possibility here. Um, I also like platinum and palladium as well. I I, I like cryptocurrencies too. I think that the, we're going to get cash that's going to seek avenues to go. That market. Is going to spike. Uh, yields are going to spike as as the debt market melts down. That's going to have the reverse effect of what central banks have done. It's all going to unwind, and it's going to unwind very very fast. And you know, like I said, cash doesn't fly away to money heaven. It's just going right. to look for places to go. And I think commodities number one, cryptos number two, um, just every all kinds of things. It's going to go in commodities in agri crude oil. I mean, people are going to see prices on things based in dollars that they're not going to believe moving yeah. forward. And, and you know what they're going to do? It's very simple to me. To to how are they going to bring this about? They need right. a big event to occur. They're already setting the groundwork: war, um, food shortages, whatever it has to be. Say, oh, these are the reasons. Those are the reasons why this has happened. They're going to remain right, squeaky right. clean. Central banks, the Fed, uh, you know, they can never be blamed that they're perfect. They always get it right, um, although we know that's completely false. But they, the whole system functions on on confidence, con like a con job, confidence. <laughs> if that confidence is shaken, well, everything just comes down on it uh, and it implodes. Absolutely. So they got to maintain that. And you know, this is why, for example, did the banking regulators really miss what was going on with the smaller institutions, SVB Bank? Of course, they didn't know mm. the. Jerome Powell himself admitted, he admitted on international television that the Fed was aware that there was a problem last November, wow. but did nothing. They did not act because they 
This is engineered. They're allowing this to happen to consolidate the banking system with the Fed now and everything else to roll out the digital system. Everyone, wow. look, it's no secret. Everybody knows it's coming. You know it. I know it. I think everyone that follows our work knows it too. Um, but what are people doing about it? Nothing. Do you see people taking to the streets? No. You see no. a revolution or a revolt? No. They're just sitting back and listening and hopefully preparing for it, thinking about what it's going to mean for them. Um, what it's going to mean for the market, I think, is another very, very big question. I think it's kind of a void um, once we switch to a digital system here, how is that going to affect the equity markets? I'm sure it's going to affect it in one way or the other. And they're preparing, they're prepared for that. If we do get a drop, of course, we'll end up seeing, you know, uh, the Fed buy it. They're going to keep, continue to buy the market. The Fed buys the market. Mm -hmm. um, they have a trading desk at the New York Fed. What do they do in front of it? Play around and play, you know, I don't know. <laughs> no, they use it. They actually they buy play it. Jenga. So they, 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 the plunge <laughs> protection team. It's a real thing. I urge people to look it up. Yeah, it so is. it's going to be interesting. Let me tell you. Well, Greg, there's uh, like, you know, you brought up like kind of like a black swan event and uh, let's say a, a huge war or let's say a world war breaks out. Uh, do you think they're just going to do the same playbook like what they did with COVID and the Fed would just drop interest rates down and do quantitative easing? And how could they pull that off with inflation now being this high if if a black swan event uh, comes about? They're going to exactly the point that the black swan and say, this is the reason why we have to do that, this, that, the other thing, but a major black black swan would be the reason for the rollout of the new digital, the new system. Yeah. Um, they got to bring this one down first and they, they are dismantling it. There's no doubt about it. They've been dismantling it for a while. And part of the, uh, the, the rate hikes are, are, are definitely, um, which, which really were never, ever meant to stop inflation at all. Yeah. It was just to uh, limit the availability of credit to small businesses and the big institutions. I mean, this is to fulfill the corporate agenda, obviously. The small institutions, they can't weather it. The larger institutions, they got the cash laying around. They can do it here. So we're going to see a wipeout on a much grander scale than than uh, Convid uh, to... Uh, <laughs> To, to get rid of the small businesses and also to, uh, you know, get rid of an entire class of people. I, I've been telling people for years, years, yeah, yeah. if you're a member of the middle class, you're done. You have a target on your face. You're being a, ta you're, you're, you're a target. And um, what, what are they doing about it? Nothing. They're going about their business, doing, doing what they're doing, working for Federal Reserve notes, soon to be digital, which we don't even own. Uh, they're owned by the issuing central bank. We owe these things back to the, the issuing central bank plus interest they create out of thin air. Well, um, imagine this, but that's really what is going on. Um, I'm not making it up. It's wow. actually how it works. It, it, you know, it's it's refreshing to hear you say that. Could we like I know I've listened to you over the years, but it's it's crazy what's going to come. Do you think? Can you give us a timeline when you think they'll actually roll out a digital? Like five years, four years? No, a lot sooner. A lot, lot sooner. sooner. Wow. Yeah. That, that's scary. I, 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 I really can't say when that it's going to be. I hate putting timelines on yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, I, it's important to think about these things and prepare for it. Right. But, the, you know, the, it, it, it's going to be at a time of their choosing here. I think when geopolitical events really start to come apart, so even more, maybe around the election, we'll see something. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. know. Um, you know, and, and then they're going to they're going to have to they're going to combine it with, OK, people look over here while we do this. They always do that. They have you, everyone look in one direction and focus on it. And they get people all riled up or whatever it might be while they pull something off in the background. Um, it seems to be the way they operate for since forever. And I'm, I'm assuming that's where it's going to go here too. But I think people need to be ready for it because I think it could happen in any moment. But again, there's something pretty big has to happen. And that's pretty scary. If you think of it, in my view, right. they're going to need a, a big event to occur or it'll be engineered, of course, that um, will precipitate the need for this new system. Again, people aren't going to take this lightly. They're not, not going to want it. Right. So they have to make people want it. And they're, they're doing this already. They're setting it up by creating more dependency on, on the current system. They need people dependent on the system. So these same people, this is why we don't have a revolution or a revolt. There are too many people dependent on the system wow. uh, via entitlement programs or whatever it might be. So no understanding that, again, they will allow a problem to man the allowing a problem to manifest itself, then it'll, it'll really get going and say, okay, people are going to say, hey, please help us. You know, here's the problem. Wait for the reaction. We have a solution for you, people. Guess what it is? You know, we all know what it is, and wow. it's just going to be very, very interesting to see how it plays out. 
Well, Greg, it's an absolute pleasure having you come down to Wall Street Silver. Like that was incredible. So thank you so much. Uh, and hopefully we can have you back on soon. Thank you. Let's do it. Thank you. Awesome. Talk to you soon, Greg. All right, man.